The speech is Kenny Gibson to be followed by Malcolm Chisholm. Thank you, Presiding Officer. And I rise to support the general principles of the Bill. I am as asked to do so by the British Medical Association, British Heart Foundation and the Scottish Kidney Federation. But also, uh, Presiding Officer, because since I was first elected here in 1999, I um, have long supported this issue. And I am proud to have been the first SNP member to have supported Anne McTaggart's Bill. And we have to give a lot of credit to Anne McTaggart here today, Presiding Officer because no, a number of people actually looked at uh, putting together a, a member's bill in, in, in my own party and indeed the Labour Party, uh, and, and Anne McTaggart was the one who picked up uh, the cudgels and moved forward. And it's extremely difficult, as you know, for a member to put forward a bill. They don't have all the institutional support of the Scottish Government, um, and she has struggled forward with a bill which is not perfect, but in terms of what it's trying to do, I think is a good bill. And if we look at this issue, I mean, it's been debated by many people uh, over the years. Uh, I'll just um, touch on a motion that I submitted on the 8th of October 2012. The motion said that the Parliament regrets what it considers the tragic death of 43 people in Scotland last year while awaiting an organ transplant, applauds the Respect My Dying Wish campaign by NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde, urging people who wish to donate their organs after death to tell their loved ones of their desire so that their wishes can be respected, and recognises calls to introduce a system of presumed consent to help save the lives of more people awaiting organ transplant. Now, that was three and a half years ago. It was signed by 43 members, including Mike McKenzie, including the minister, and yet no bill came forward. Now, I, 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 I have been disappointed in, by successive administrations failing to pick up the cudgels on this particular issue. There has been plenty of time to move forward on this. And while I appreciate that the Scottish Government have said that if we vote down this bill, they will bring one forward, we have to, as has already been stated, consider the people who are already waiting on that transplant list, these 571 uh, one people. And, you know, soft opt-out, it's, it's, it's been used in other countries. It's, it's, not, it's not brand new. And, uh, uh, you know, it's axiomatic to me that it must increase donation. Think about what the UK Conservative government is doing in terms of trade union legislation at this time. Instead of people, you know, having to opt out of a union, they have to opt in. Why is the government doing that? Because they're less likely people to opt in. Uh, and that will reduce the numbers of trade union members and therefore money for the Labour Party. We know that. So cl quite clearly, when we look at organ donation, it is, it is clear that the fact that people do have a, a soft opt-out means that we will intrinsically, in my passionate, totally 100% convicted view, convinced view, have more people uh, willing to, uh, donate, uh, uh, available to, to deliver um, organs. Now, uh, Anne came before came to the Finance Committee and there were issues with the bill and we've heard about some of the difficulties at the Elden Sport Committee. But surely it is not beyond the ken of this government to make the necessary amendments to make sure this legislation can work rather than have to wait months or years more before we go forward. Simply waiting 17 years as we have in this parliament is 17 years too long. And, I, and we've had umpteen campaigns from umpteen members but, you know, this is the nitty-gritty. This is a chance for members to stand up and be counted. And I hope members uh, who have signed umpteen motions and spoken in umpteen debates on this issue over the years will follow their conscience and actually vote for the general principles of the bill, because that's what we're voting for, the general principles, not necessarily the nitty-gritty, which can be amended. So, uh, I, I don't want to take up the time that other members may wish to have, so I'll, I will finish early, presiding officer. But I think people know quite clearly where, where my uh, position is, uh, and uh, I know a number of other colleagues in my uh, party group feel exactly the same way. So I look forward to this bill being voted on positively uh, today at decision time. Thank you, presiding officer. Thank you very much. I now call on Malcolm Chisholm to be followed by Sandra White. Um, President Officer, I would like to thank uh, Anne McTaggart for all her great work on the bill and also pay tribute to Kenny Gibson and some of his colleagues who have been supporting uh, this kind of legislation for a long time, longer than I have, because I have just changed my mind during the course of this Parliament and was very happy to be in the minority uh, of the committee in the report that uh, we are debating. I mean, the context is the yawning gap between the large majority.